Welcome once again to the No Mastery Challenge slash walkthrough here. This one is for the Cluster Calculation. It's another of Munga's featured contracts, curated featured contracts. It takes place in Sapienza on World of Tomorrow. The goal here is to kill four bodyguards in your suit. One of them you have to kill in melee with a kitchen knife, but the others you can kill any way you like. I'm not sure why that restriction is there, but we will go ahead and take care of it. We have the typical... Uh, Mastery here for zero mastery, the main square. Now, if you do have one mastery, which is very easy to get, you can start in the ICA safe house. Uh, it's not that different, and there's a kitchen knife, which you'll need right there uh, from the start. But we're going to assume that we don't have it. Once we get started, the first thing we need to do is run behind the town hall. So we'll get up, go this way, and just head behind the town hall. You need extra coins, there's some over there, but we have more than enough, so I don't think we need to get them. Lady in Pink will be walking past, so she should not be able to see this. Uh, just come down here, walk behind this kitchen guy in yellow, and subdue him. Don't bump him, don't do anything fancy, just grab him. And unlock this door. And drag him inside. You don't need to do anything but leave him in here, really. No one should ever come in here, but... Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to dump him. And then, if it's about 55 seconds, you'll want to wait for that kitchen assistant there to walk out the front. But if not, just go ahead and run upstairs. You will get recorded by a camera, don't worry about it. Head all the way up here to this area with the two doors. And if you have the town hall key still, you should be able to just unlock this door. If for whatever reason you don't, and you somehow got in here through some other way, you can just go outside and climb through this window. They both lead to the same place. So we've got the evidence here. We can get rid of that. That'll also disable any other cameras, but there's only one that really we need to worry about. There's a crowbar here, which we might need. There's also this. Propane tank, which we're going to shoot one hole in so that it's leaking. And then we're just going to head downstairs. See, the guy is still out there, so if he's still out there, you're fine. Crouch, just to be safe, come in here and grab the kitchen knife. Then come out this way. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to set up a spot to kill this guy with a kitchen knife safely. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to take the propane and we're just going to leave it outside. And then what we're going to do is we're going to throw one coin just like right here. Hide for just a second so that he starts walking towards it, and then we're going to run outside so that he's Man, not I think I heard something. Moving in to investigate. Over. I don't know where that coin went, but he'll come over here a little closer. And once he does, throw a coin inside. Yeah, forget about it. Who cares anyway? He'll go after the coin. But what he'll do is he'll see the gun on the ground. Ooh, gotta be. That will make him a little more stable. He'll walk straight towards it, close the door, oh, wait a second, and then kill him. Now, once again, we do not need to hide this body. But, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do that by taking him downstairs and dumping him. You don't need to do this. It's not necessary at all. But it makes things a little easier. Okay. Now we're going to leave, and we should no longer have to worry about being in a trespassing area anymore. Yeah, no. Oh, no, you're breaking up. So be careful for people who are smoking like that guy. Do not get near them with a leaking propane tank. Just go over and just leave the propane tank right here. Sir, you dropped something. Don't do anything with it yet. Just leave it there. Now we need to get this guard. Of course. But first, we need to we need to prepare one thing. So come all the way down here to the church. And what we're gonna do is go into the morgue. Now we need to get this guy out of the picture. He happens to be right here. So we'll need to wait for him to go back inside. Hi. Grab some extra coins here. You can either wait for him to come in or just coin him in. I'm just going to wait. 
There's no reason to wait, you can just get him in with a coin, but I just want to show that this is perfectly safe and that this will work no matter how long you take. So you're allowed to be in here, you're not trespassing, so close the doors, and then wait until you have the opportunity to subdue him, and then subdue him. We'll drop a church key, which we'll need to unlock this. You can also just use the crowbar. That'll force the door open, though, and you may not want to do that, so we'll see if that actually works in my favor here. So we're going to take this guy, and we are going to dump him in here so that he's gone. And now, we're going to walk all the way over here. This alleyway should be clear. If it's not, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And what you're going to do is get right about over here, drop a gun. With any luck, that guy will not see it. So now you're going to throw a coin. Okay. And this guy will come, hey, the guard here. will come over here and he will see the gun. Okay. Which we want, because we hey. want him to find the gun and we want him to retrieve it. Where, when he retrieves it, he's going to take it Hi. into the church morgue. Specifically, he's going to take it over there. Now again, we're not trespassing right here, so we're safe. Get the fiber wire out. It's not illegal to hold fiber wire. And just wait. He's on his way. You don't need to hide. I'm just doing this so the door stays open. Once he comes in here, we're going to close the door, fiber wire him, and dump him. Now you're going to want to be careful, and one reason to use the church key instead of the crowbar is there is that lady in confession who could come out here and go in there to see the body. And if you have the door closed, then if you need to, you can kill him here, wait for her to leave, and then dump her. But you should have time. You don't, again, patience and just go for it. See, they're on their way. But grab him. Once you have the opportunity. You don't need to use fiber wire. You can shoot him. Whatever you want. The important thing is to dump him. Okay, now we need to get the last two targets. But the good news is there's a very easy way to do it. So what we're going to do is go back to that leaky propane tank that we dropped off. Now our goal here is to get them to ignite it by smoking. But we want to make sure it's positioned correctly before we do that. So what we're going to do, get the propane tank, pick it up, drop it. That will stop them from smoking, and we're going to drop it right between them. That way, you don't have to worry about them blowing you up, or missing if you try to throw it at them, and it not exploding, or it only exploding one of them. Put it right between them, and one of them will eventually go back to smoking, killing them both. And that will wake up Sal Falcone, the detective. We don't want him potentially spotting us, so we're just going to run to the harbor exit. Hey. There's a very small chance of a person walking by. If you think there's somebody nearby that could blow up, just wait. You have all the time in the world. The accident won't count as uh, found bodies. So as soon as those guys blow up, you can get out of there. And we're done.